The vote is closed. On July the 5th, the first vote was won. And that has been rejected, which means that the... <laughs> the committee's decision has been rejected. But despite our efforts, this is what happened. Herzlichen Dank für diese Gemeinschaftsleistung, die wir heute hinbekommen haben. This is a, an enormous strike against freedom of speech on the internet. We lost the second vote. But we can still turn this around. We just have to go one step further. EU-Parlament versucht den sogenannten und gefürchteten Artikel 3 und verzeichnet die Petition, die wir euch in der Beschreibung verlinkt haben. Es gibt auf change.org eine Petition, die habe ich euch hier unten runtergebracht. Über 644.000. Ich muss gleich nochmal drauf. Du bist bestimmt noch schon weiter ge gestiegen. Jetzt seit wir auch noch in 2000. Ja. And the real concerns voiced by our citizens. Just yesterday, I received a petition signed by almost a million people against the jury committee mandate. Ja, ich könnte das auch ohne weiteres unterschreiben, aber es hat nichts mit dem Text zu tun, den wir hier kreiert haben. Aber können dann, Sie dann, dann ist es ja für Sie kein Problem, wenn Sie diese 736.000 Unterschriften auch sinnbildlich entgegennehmen. Hey guys, this is Buzz Weaver here in the studio doing a little bit of a rough cut for you guys because the Lost History Channel asked me if I would take a moment and give you my thoughts and opinions on Article 13 and how it affects us here in the States and how it could affect you guys there in the UK. So basically what we call the upload filter, or I'm sorry, what we call Article 13 here in the United States is the upload filter. And basically what that means is that here in the States, we'll be able to continue to make our content with no particular problems. The problem is gonna be uh, when we create or generate um, information for you guys in the UK or in Europe, if we include video, audio, or links even to say news articles. So basically what the EU is demanding from us here in the States is that um, we have to verify that the information we're using is appropriate and within the rights of that copyright holder. So for example, if um, when I'm doing my content here in the States, it's totally fine. So when I'm doing my Friday vlogs, everyone here in the States can see them. If I link to articles, if I use video, if I, if I do any content within the United States, I have fair use. So I'm able to produce whatever content I want. Now in the UK, I do this of course for the Lost History Channel, which is there in Scotland. And so basically what could happen is if the Lost History, inc Lost History Channel includes a link or uses video that is held by a copyright holder, not even 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 fair use is not covered under the eu by the way in case there's some confusion there yeah because see the uh, article 13 of course is the eu and then we have fair use here in the united states so our laws do not transcend over to europe and vice versa which i'm kind of happy about but my opinion about the eu is entirely different and uh my thoughts and opinions of course do not reflect those of the lost history channel but nonetheless i do cover some of this information on the friday vlog so if you guys haven't already you can head over to my channel and and um, where I cover these types of particular topics. But uh, nonetheless, Article 13 is what we call a filtering service uh, by the EU. Of course, we have other disparaging <laughs> pejoratives to call it ourselves here in the States. But nonetheless, it is kind of irritating to think that the EU is really just kind of sticking it to us here in the United States or really sticking it to you guys there in the EU because it's not affecting us here in the States. The problem is that they want accountability, they want control, and... Um, just like what I cover in my Friday vlog uh, this Friday, uh, how the tech giants here in the United States are trying to control language, trying to control censorship, and are trying to uh, you know maneuver and negotiate things around for any number of different reasons, which I won't particularly go to here. But nonetheless, um, we're hoping that um, we get more of a definitive outline on Article 13. Now, of course, as an American, uh, I can only speak for myself as an American to say, hey, you know, Brexit to me from our perspective as a constitutional republic is, uh, yeah, the way I would go if I were the UK. But I can't speak for you guys in the UK. I can't speak for you guys in Europe. You know, you guys have a lot of interconnections and things going on with each other, deals and trades and, and everything that goes on there uh, the market system and everything is so much different there in europe than it is here in the states but um article 13 
could affect the Lost History channel in the way he uses his content. So videos, links, and other things that are coming out of the States or from copyright holders could impede his content. Now, I think personally from doing the videos, uh, most of the content you see here on the Lost History channel is pretty original. I'm not sure what the content will have or how the content will have to change. But nonetheless, um, it's something we can probably work out. So we'll keep an eye, of course, on Article 13. Well, as of yet, we don't know what circumstances will be triggered by the Article 13. Remember, the Lost History Channel is still in the EU until the UK leaves in March. So if this law is passed, then it could have unforeseen consequences for channels like ours. We still don't know very much about this, but it is the snowball scenario of smothering creators being creative that is worrying. Anyway, guys, let us know what you are thinking about this. Use the hashtag save the internet and head over to change.org and sign the petition. It will only take you a minute. This has the potential to kill the internet as we know it. So do your part and give our community a voice that completely overwhelms them into a rethink. from Safety Internet are fighting for you. We are fighting for a free internet, free of upload filters. We're the lobby of the normal people, people like you and me. And we need your help. We need you to sign our petition so we can raise our voice for you in the European Parliament.